Well, I mean, I think large language models in general have, um, yeah, they've just exploded. I think this is really a, just the the move, uh, the the advances in technology around machine learning models took us from, you know, machine learning algorithms to deep learning, and now on to these large language models, which have been trained on enormous amounts of data and have transformed the industry. I, I think so. I think the business benefits of large language models are very significant. I mean, obviously, they lower the skills bar, uh, which opens up tools to all kinds of people that perhaps were not as <clears throat> highly trained as perhaps IT professionals. So productivity, I think, is a clear benefit. I think uh, the ability to um, automate tasks and, um, and and therefore shorten the time to value, I think is the big drivers around generative AI. Um, what I don't think anyone predicted was the uh, sheer number of areas of data management and analytics that generative AI has penetrated. I mean, you kind of expected it on the BI tools to help you ask questions and it would generate queries, but now we've got it in data science generating code. We even have it uh, in data catalogs, generating descriptions and business data names for data that's out in your different data stores. We've got it in uh, data quality tools, generating uh, validation rules to identify data quality problems in your data. We've got it in um, uh, databases. Uh, now, again, uh, with query front end generators, um, to allow you to just ask questions of databases. We've got it in um, data integration or, or sometimes referred to as data engineering tools where, where you uh, have to do something called prompt based data engineering where you can you know, kind of tell it what you want to do and have it generate the transformations to actually do that in your pipeline. So. All of this is simplifying uh, development, lowering the skills bar, allowing people to do things if they don't even have the skills um, to necessarily um, write sophisticated code. And the the benefits are, um, you know, clearly to broaden the usage, simplify uh, the tooling, and uh, have more people become data literate that allow you to um, get things done quicker across your business, I guess. I mean, I, I think those are the the major benefits that are coming from it. Um, you, you know, for example, business intelligence tools for a long time kind of got stuck on about 20 to 25 percent employee penetration in terms of number of users. So you wouldn't, you know, so you kind of said, well, what about the other? 75% of the employee base. I mean, what are they doing? How do they get to be able to do this kind of thing? And and I think now that we have generative AI, you can very clearly see that people who perhaps were in you know fearful of technology can even get involved. And now that we also have a voice to text, you don't even have to type in the question. You can just ask it so so i kind of think um you know once people get the confidence to to do that um we're going to see much broader use which is a good thing i think for business in general um as well as the productivity benefits uh and 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 you know across across the board so overall i think the the benefits of generative ai are are pretty pretty enormous. Uh, being able to help people get get stuff done quicker.